Watch you guys got another error message fix video for you. This is called boot MGR is missing. Press control or delete to restart. Now this is a pretty common error message and what we're going to do is fix uh, the master boot record. This video has been brought to you by zero and nine. Use the discount code to get your cheap copy of Windows 10 Pro. You can use the promotion code Brian W for Windows 10 Professional OEM key and get a discount and get that for $12.79. If you're interested in Microsoft Office 2016 Professional plus retail key, you can use the promotion code Brian-M and you can get a reduced uh, price on that as well by using that coupon code. Links in the video description. So you can see here, Boot MGR is just one of the uh, common uh, types of errors that show up. There's quite a few of them. So to fix this, we're going to download Windows 10 ISO from the Microsoft website here. You can see you can download 32-bit or 64-bit. We're just going to download uh, the right version for our machine. Once we've got this downloaded, we're going to open up our software, what we've just downloaded, and you can see it here. This is the Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. What we're going to do is create installation media for another PC. So what we're going to do is click on uh, the next button. And now we need to select our language and our edition, which is uh, Windows 10 Home or Pro, or whatever version you're using. And yours may be slightly different because this may be a newer version that you're using, but it's the same sort of principle. We need to select our architecture here, 64 bit. And uh, from there, we're gonna go next. And now we've got a chance to download an ISO file or create a USB flash drive. So what we're gonna do is create a USB flash drive. You will need to have a flash drive in your system plugged in. Uh, ready to create that bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, next. Now you can see here I've got my USB flash drive plugged in and um, we're just going to quickly uh, install it onto this one here. It will take care of the format and everything else for you so don't worry about that. Click next here you can see it's recognized the uh, removable drive and uh, from here all we need to do here if you don't see it on there just hit the refresh so we're just going to let this uh, download and create our windows 10 media this will take a bit of time so be patient and then you should get your fl usb flash drive is ready to use now if you want to use rufus i'll show you how to quickly create a usb flash drive with rufus so to do it with Rufus, you're going to need to download the media creation tool like you did before and then start that up just in the same way as you did before and then create installation media for another PC. You go through the same process here where you choose your language, your edition and also the architecture. And once you've got that part right, what you're going to do is choose ISO and download your ISO. So we're just going to let this go through here. So we don't want to create the USB flash drive here this time. We're going to download the ISO file and we can use that to create our DVD or USB flash drive using Rufus. So we need to save this ISO file somewhere and this will be the latest version of Windows uh, when you download it from the Microsoft website. So I'm just going to download that off their website here. And as you can see here, it's now downloaded and it's ready to burn the ISO file to a DVD. So it's stored that on our computer. So I'm not gonna uh, burn this to a DVD from that software here. I'm gonna show you how to use Rufus uh, to do that. So let's download Rufus. You need to go to Rufus's website here and download their software. Um, you can download the portable version if you want to. Just get the latest version and just hit the download button there. So once you've got that downloaded, we're gonna open this up. And once this is downloaded, we can open this up and start to create a USB flash drive. Okay, so let's open up Rufus here. I'm gonna run this as administrator. So this is for legacy BIOS without a UEFI. 
and I'll show you how to convert your BIOS to accept this uh, legacy BIOS. This is probably the most easiest to uh, get to boot up. So we're just going to go ahead and leave these settings as they are and choose our ISO for our Windows 10. So let's just navigate to where our ISO is. You can see it here where it's downloaded. I'm going to click open here. And you can see the selection here, which is NTFS. And we have it set to BIOS or UEFI. So what we're gonna do here is a OK. This will wipe the USB flash drive. So it's important that if you've got any data on there to stop if you want to back that data up because it will be formatted and you will lose that data. So we're gonna click OK to continue here. And that will then uh, create our bootable USB flash drive for us to boot up to that um, machine. So you can see it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. You can either use Rufus method or you can use the media creation tool. It's entirely up to you. And you just need to change the partition up the top to whatever you wanna set it to, UEFI or BIOS and UEFI. It's entirely up to you. So then we have that inside the USB flash drive. You can see all the files are in there ready to go and we're ready to boot up to a USB flash drive and fix this issue. Now I wanted to make sure I show all the steps here so people uh, know how to do it because obviously not everyone knows how to create a bootable USB flash drive. You can rename the USB flash drive to whatever you want. You could have done that inside Rufus if you wanted to do that. It's entirely up to you. And all we need to do now is boot to our BIOS. Now to get into your BIOS, you need to push F1, F2, Escape, Delete or F12 on your keyboard when booting up it should tell you on the post screen then hit settings here to get into your settings pane once you're in settings hit boot and then change the boot mode section uh, to legacy plus uefi that's because we've created our bootable um, usb to accept that now if it's set to uefi then you will need to create a, a uefi uh, type uh, bootable usb now go to boot option one and select uh, your USB flash drive. In this case, it's a SanDisk and I've selected that. Now we're going to go into advanced settings here and USB configuration. I'm just going to make sure that inside this BIOS that it's legacy USB support enabled. And that's now done. We can now click yes to save that configuration change. And now we can save and exit our BIOS and boot to that USB flash drive. Now that will start to boot up to the USB flash drive and you will then see the installation part here for Windows. Click next here and we don't want to click on install, we want to click on repair your computer. From here on choose an option we're going to click troubleshoot and then we want to go over to where it says command prompt and click on command prompt. Now this will open up the command prompt window and what we need to do here is type bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Push enter. Next command will be bootrec space forward slash fix boot and then press enter. And you should see the operation completed successfully. And then we want to do here is BCD edit space forward slash export and then C colon backslash and then we need to put in here BCD backup and you should see operation completed successfully and the next up what we want to do here is change uh, the permissions so we're going to do attrib c colon backslash boot bcd dash h space dash r space dash s and then we can push enter now normally the fix boot and fix mbr would be enough to fix this issue but we'll try and uh, go through some other scenarios just in case other people are having trouble. So go ren space c colon backslash boot bcd space bcd dot old. And if you're having trouble, these are what you'll need to do. So we're going to go here boot rec space forward slash 
rebuild, BCD, and then push enter. And that will scan for Windows installations. And once it's found your Windows installation, it will identify as one installation there. Then just push Y for yes, and then you can type exit. And that should be your problem resolved. Remove the USB flash drive, change your boot order back, and reboot your system, and you should be back up and running. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.